Hello and welcome to the newspaper review here on TAF TV. Hey, your comments, my name. You know how we do it here. We give Nigerians the opportunity to air out their views regarding every single headline on our newspaper. Remember, you also can be part of this show. You're welcome to subscribe. Join every single humans out here, every single Nigerians out here to air out their points regarding every single headline. Now, before we hit to the streets, let's first look into the headlines and see what the headline has for us today. First, on our newspaper headline today, we're considering the nations. And the bold headline here says, Weaver, food importers must sell 75% at approved market. This is of that is found on the front page of the nations. Now, sub story under the nation says, South East cannot protest against Tinibu's government, says lawyers. Details of that is found on page 5. I received 21 million as running costs, says Senator. Details of that is found on page 4. Moving on, still on the nation, on page 5, he says, Delta to pay 70,000 minimum wage. You can read that up on page 5 of the nations. And still on page 5, he says, Fubara, our government won't fail reverse people. You can catch up that story on page 5 of the nation newspaper. All right, moving on, we're seeing Aquibon plans tax revenue from digital economy operators. It's still found on page 5. Government deploys apps to fight crimes because of that is still found on page five of the nation newspaper all right moving on we're considering the punch and a board headline here says food crisis military deploys troops into northwest northwest central farms details of that is found on page two of the punch newspaper sub story under page two says prices skyrocket as petrol scarcity beats harder it's still found on page two of the Punch newspaper. Power tariff. ASU demands reversal. Versity's bills jump by 300%. It's found on page 27 of the Punch. Still on the Punch, still on, the punch on page 28, it says EFCC detains NAHON chairman recovers 314,008 Sudai, Sudai Resai. Details of that is found like a LSN on page 28 of the Punch newspaper. Now moving on, still on the Punch, you say 149 Nigerians repatriated from Niger is found on page 27 of the Punch. Federal government inaugurates panel for Naira-based crude sale is found on page 19. 11 killed in Abia auto crash, quite a sad one here on page 5 of the Punch. Oshemole Ashaibu Wo Edo Central Voters. This out of that is found on page 27 of the point. All right, moving on. Lastly, for today, we're considering the Daily Sun. And on the board headline, it says, Towards Edo, Ondo, Ekiti, Guba Pools, INEC charges security agents to be ruthless during elections. You can read that up on page 6 of the Daily Sun. Still on page 6, it says, Abba, Abbas vows to criticism, details of that, like earlier said, is still found on the substory of page 6 of the Daily Sun. Ganduje protesters catered away case file. Kanu governor alleges, details of that is found on page 29. Now we're seeing on page 28, it says, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea to sign agreement on petroleum resource and security. This is what that is found on page 28 of the Daily Sun. Ukraine advances deeper into Russia. It's found on page 29. Fraudulent mobilization. Unical urges NYC to release remaining names. It's found on page 26 of the Daily Sun. Brothers bury siblings alive over missing phone in Zaria. You can read that up on page 4. And the board headline still on the Daily Sun it says, Army vows to dislodge oil thefts in Niger Delta. You can read that up on page 5 of the Daily Sun. And lastly on the Daily Sun it says, Gaza war. Hamas suspends trace talk with Israel. You can read that up on page 27 of the Daily Sun. And that is all we're taking for today regarding the headlines that are making rounds this very day. Now let's hit to the streets and hear the reactions of every single Nigerian regarding these particular headlines. Do well to stay tuned. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. It feels good to have you around. Oh, welcome. Uh, now, now, on the Daily Sun, it says on page 5, South East cannot protest against Tinibu's government, says lawyer. Now, the big question is, 
Is it actually okay for uh, a part of Nigeria that is feeling the heat to say that they don't want to join the protest? They have their reason for not joining the protest. They have their reason. Um, obviously, the protest will not bring any results. May not bring. So that's why they don't want to waste the energy. But, but uh, it is quite different from the Northerners. No, the, the, the Northerners are, are saying, okay, it's because it is not their person that is actually on, on seat. You can remember the, the days of uh, good luck, uh, Jonathan. They, they, they actually protested, but during the, the, the time of uh, Buhari, they did not. Do you think this is more of a, a tribal thing? I don't think it's tribal. I don't think the problem is felt. It's, it's, it's going around everywhere. Everybody is feeling it, but it's just that some of us in the South, that do know that uh, we will not get anything from, uh, from the government. Yes, we will not. We will not. Because uh, we will not get anything from the government. Right now, I, I, I want to, as, a, a, as an elder statesman in Adair Nation, Nigeria, did you think there is hope for this country? <laughs> My dear, it is difficult to say there will be hope for this Nigeria, but you see, we don't want to be negative. Otherwise, from the way things are going, there will be no hope for this Nigeria because these people who just force themselves in and get everything to you know for themselves will continue. And as long as they continue, there may not be anything better in this country. Uh, let, let, let's come back to River State now. Uh, Fubara says our government will not fail the people. Now, uh, you, you know, of late there has been a, a, a lot of crisis in River State alone uh, for the past three months. The, the do you think our, 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 our governor, uh, Similai Fubara, will be able to tackle the um, already looming troubles in the state? Well, given the, the situation and how he picked up, obviously we believe he will be able to tackle, especially if there are no distractions, because distractions may hinder him from achieving the goal. Now, you, you just spoke about distraction. Do, do, do you think uh, it is because of the ways he came into power that is actually distracting him? Some persons are okay pointing fingers to uh, the FCT minister. Do you think uh, do, do that is a major distraction? That is a major distraction, yes. Mm. That is a major distraction. And he causes uh, remotely, co you know, responsible for the distractions the governor is experiencing. That is a major distraction. All the people that are working, you know, working against uh, the government, is because of him. They just want to please him. Like um, this guy, Tony Kocha, who has been, you know, making all sort of spurious allegations and sort of statements. Obviously, if he does not do, he may risk his job. The, FCT minister may recommend a sack, so he wants to please him so that he will continue to, at least in his job. Right. Thank you very much. It's okay. All right. Uh, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. It feels good to have you around. Uh, thank you. Uh, now, like, as a patriotic Nigerian, I'd like you to, um, your thoughts on this headline. It says, South East cannot uh, protest against Tinibu's government, says lawyers. Now, I want you to take it from this angle. Is it okay for um, some Nigerians to separate themselves for, from, a, uh, from protesting against this government? It's not okay for some Nigerians to separate themselves because we all are one Nigeria, that's number one. Then number two, now all of us they face the hardship, you understand? So when you are facing the hardship, when it's time for you to protest, you're supposed to come out and protest. That is your right. If not, okay, how much was fuel before? How much is fuel currently right now? The country is already going extravagantly, you understand? So many Nigerians have gone to different countries and, and on their way going, most of them have died. Because some people pass through backyards without papers, going to different countries, and they have all died. I have a friend that is going to Libya now. And the last time that guy did this video was inside Big C. You understand? So all these risks that we are all taking now is just to have a better life. So it's very good for us to protest. Only myself, we're not going to protest. We go to march, they go to their houses one by one. That's the truth of the matter. You understand? So now uh, uh, it, it can't be like say the Northerners carry this um, the, this protest matter for head past uh, every other part of the nation. Yes, that's because now they quite a benefit from and pass. You understand? You know the past government was actually paying them. You understand? So if Tinebuna that is not their brother and they sold their vote to him has now failed them. Now make them the not the Northern they are they get it more easy in the country. You understand? They have the food. You understand? Then they have the like if you don't want to join the military, it's very easy. You understand? But we in the eastern and we that are here, it's not that easy. You understand? So now they go carry on for head part because even the hardship, now then they face and pass. You understand? We from this from this part of Nigeria now we can easily remove money and buy fuel. You know, without complaining that much. Or both others say they pay us. But them, they're not gonna fit. You know, because most things they get it free. You understand? So if the, in the, in the, I've been to Nasarawa before, I said in Lafayette, Nasarawa. Most medical hospitals they are free. 
You understand? They are all sponsored by government. Wow. So right now they are paying their bills. Wow. You understand? So when you are paying your bill here for the first time, so it's paining. You understand? When you don't know the when before you are enjoying something free and now you are you are paying heavily for it. If now you go verse you, you understand? Now they say they want to destroy not. They want to destroy Kano. You understand? So maybe they scatter them. You understand? Maybe now they scatter them everywhere go good. Okay, now, uh, may, 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 may we come back to River State. For where they say uh, in government no go fail the people. Now you you feel say him alone as as uh, I know say not the name be the governor, but do, do, do you think there will be any form of distraction to the peace of the uh, River State? Uh, the truth is just that uh, we love Fubara Sim Fubara as the governor of River State. You understand my point? He's a very good man, but the thing is that um, he cannot he cannot say the hardship will not be in his own government because he's already there. You understand? Just that the only thing is just that he should also put mouth and talk to the president. You understand my point? Sim, Sim is already he's a very strong man, and we believe in him as Rivers people. You understand? I'm from Rivers State, Calabar. But the thing is just that he cannot stop this thing. You understand? This thing is coming from federal direct, not from him. The economy is not from River State. You understand my point? We don't control the economy. The economy is controlled by the president and the government officials. So he should only put math and talk on our behalf. That is the only good thing that he can do. You understand? So as if, that is why he said that River State we have not started destroying things. You understand? Because because we are we actually love Sims. But if not, but that God boys, you know the matter. Uh -huh. Now we're gonna have born like seven banks first, first. Made a no everywhere they hold. You understand? But because we love our governor, no, that is why we don't we, we don't take it this far. But what I'm actually trying to say now that if this video can get to him, I got sim, I beg, help us talk to Tinibu because those are the people that have Tinibu direct number. We the common man we cannot we cannot talk to Tinibu. He might not even see this video, but if Tinibu if if Sim Fubara see this video, he can be able to reach out to Tinibu. So that's what we just want. You understand? We reverse people we don't like problem. You understand my point? But we see people that we work problem. That's what we just did. So would they give him that grace because he's a good man. You understand my point? So make him, make him, make him do well for us. That's just the meeting. Thank you. Man. Hi, good morning, sir. God bless you. Yeah, it's good to have you back again. Nice. Thank you very much. Now, uh, quickly on the punch on page three says food crisis. Military deploys troops in northwest, north central farms. Now, uh, finally, our our security agencies are finally de deployed on persons to protect our farmers. Now, the question is, is this is this particular action timely? Uh, it is really, really, really laughable. The situation we find ourselves in this country. Honestly, I don't know. The kind of leaders we, we, we have in this side of the country is, is nothing to write home about. This is something that has started, it's over 12 years now. So this crisis has started between farmers and herders. And the government have kept a blind eye as if they are not seeing it. They know the solution. I don't know whether they, they love to see the people crying or the people, I don't know. So why will it take a reasonable government over 12 years? What they are doing now is the right thing, but the timing is off. It's overdue. They're supposed to have done this thing. The, the, the. the government that have the people in the heart, they're supposed to have done this thing. It's, time, it's not timely, but that is what they are supposed to do. Because, and now, it has cost us a lot. If they have done this thing, now this hunger protest would have taken place. And some of the people that died through this hunger, their life would have been preserved. So why is our government wicked? This is a question that needs to go to Asorok. Why are they wicked? Why are they heartless? They are sending the uh, military. Now, this allegation that our security people are making money from the insecurity of this country, I want to start considering that allegation to be true. Okay. Because if they are not making money from the insecurity of this country, why will it take them over 12 years to do something that is right? For See, Nigerian government, they are very lucky to have good citizens. Okay. We have many abiding, law abiding. law abiding. Because if this kind of thing are happening in some other Western countries, where we are looking up to, okay. those countries would have ceased to exist. Because the, 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 the countrymen would have come out on the streets. Are you getting me? Because they know that the power belongs to them. But one thing with us here, yeah, the majority of us don't know that the power belongs to us. Yeah. That's why our government do with us anyhow. So I, I, would, like, I would say that sometimes we decide, we decide what we get from our, from, from our government. Because if we have been standing up to demand what is our right, our government will stand on their feet and do what is right at, at every point in time. If some of those people that are going to, to take power, they will be scared to take power because they know that they won't be able to 
to take responsibility. Now, uh, sir, you, you, you just spoke about um, Nigeria has been ignorant of our rights. Now, let, let, let's cast our mind back to this last uh, protest. You know, after 10 days, some persons are asking, how far? After 10 days of hunger protest, uh, uh, at this point, uh, are we saying that we were too late to actually protest? It was too late, but it is never late. Okay. Are you getting me? That protest, I wouldn't say it recorded 100% success, but it's a blow to this government. It, it pointed at something, and the world know that people are hungry. And so if without this protest now, when our officials go outside this, the, the country, they go there and boast, and they live a flamboyant life. When the people see them, they think that their lifestyle re re reflects the, their, nation. the nation, but it doesn't. So this hunger protest really is an eye-opener to most of our, the Western world. We had, when they go there, they go and boast that Nigeria is doing well. They try to market a country that is not marketable. Oh exactly. This country is not marketable. Because based on the things that our leaders are doing, the country is not marketable. So that hunger protest is long overdue. Yeah. So Nigerians are smiling and hungry. Okay. Hungry and smiling. So this attitude of hungry and smiling is what is killing us. We'll be suffering. We'll be... Now, this is me. This hungry. Eh? I have not gone into in deep into many Nigerians. Why that is so so? This protest was supposed to affect every section of the economy. During that protest, everyone was supposed to be shut down. But I see some people, some people doing business. That's because they were not hungry enough. It's true. If we are hungry enough, everybody, we don't need to beg people to come out for protest. Even those people that we are doing protest against protest. Do you see them? Uh, I, I, don't, I, I can't imagine how much somebody will give you to protest against people who are protesting for your rights. Even if, you, even if you give me one billion, I'll not take. Because there's something, even the police and the army, they're supposed, they're supposed to be at the head front of this protest. Because the protest covers their right as well. How much are they paying our policemen? Compared to how much they are paying other police in other world, in other part of the world. Are you getting me? It's a peanut. So if the police know, they're supposed to be at the forefront and the military as well. Because what they are giving them is a peanut. The politicians are the ones taking the hungry, the, what is it called, the lion's share of our economy. And they are devouring it among their family as if we are, we are practicing family, familiocracy. Huh? Are you getting me? As if we are, we are practicing familiocracy in this world. Meanwhile, what we are practicing is democracy. A government of the people, by the people, and for the people. But it, it is not seen. Small time now, we go reach what is the column? Independence Day, yeah, surely, okay. first of October, and they will come and start begging people to celebrate. If the country is doing well, you don't need to beg people to celebrate their independence. The people will be happy. Are you getting me? So that is that is it. Thank you. God bless you. you All right, we've come to the end of our newspaper review today. Remember, just like I keep saying, you also can be part of this show. Just like every single Nigerians out here, slide into your comment sessions. Whatever whatever reactions we share here that you're not comfortable with, come on, slide into our comment sessions and drop your reactions so you also can be part of this show. My name is Ayo Kamen. Regardless of what happens, do well to take care of yourself. See you next time.